Hey Barflies, welcome back to another episode of Behind the Bar Liquor Reviews, Brew House Reviews. This entire month of October, we're doing pumpkin beers. And we're starting off with Saranac Pumpkin Ale. And it's funny because... Well, it's Saranac Hour Pumpkin Ale. Oh. On the front of it, anyways. It's funny because uh, I picked up the same exact beer, and Big Daddy brought the same exact one. The only reason I picked it up is because my son saw it, and he went, Dad, Halloween beer, get it. So I call it Halloweeny. <laughs> so Dracula calls this it. This entire month of October, each week you're gonna <laughs> see a new pumpkin beer. <clears throat> now I'm not a huge fan of pumpkin beer. Now I have also heard that they the pilgrims used pumpkin beer because pumpkins were so prevalent. I don't know if that's true. If there's any pilgrims out there, you could let us know. <laughs> yes. Um, let us know about your uh, religious oppression, too, that you had and why you fled to the New World. Yes. And then your the use of pumpkins to, to make beer. And let us know how you killed all the Indians, too. Why'd you do that, by the way? Either way, I know I, beer was used. Am I part of this whole thing? I know you made me well, pour yeah, every single pumpkin. Yeah, that's the whole point. I'm not driving, so it's all good. No, but I am, so I'm not going to drink it. I'll drink yours. Okay. If it's any good. We don't know if it's any good yet. I've never had it. <laughs> this thing's going to fill all the glasses up. <laughs> it was on sale. You ready for this? $3 for that whole thing. And I paid, the one I picked up was $2 for a 12 ounce. There we go. We'll leave links. This is like triple the amount for a dollar. That's a lot of pumpkin ale. Now, I've never been a huge fan of Saranac it's beer. spice to it. And I know that's blasphemy being from the New York region, because Saranac is now, huge here. Now, I will say, they had a beer, it was their Saranac Pilsner, mm -hmm. in their trail mix thing. It was really, really good. They do some good beers, but some of them are just way too out there. Yep, and I understand that. That one <clears throat> was really good and I've not had anything since that point that was probably 10 15 years ago I'm trying to remember the one that I just recently had <clears throat> at uh, the pumpkin spice on it like the nutmeg and it was called like a wild berry ale or something like that it was really interesting now this is all like clove yeah nutmeg, nutmeg a little bit it tastes like you know what it, it tastes like pumpkin pie spice almost it's, it's well that's clove it, it tastes yeah. like the spice, but there's no, a lot of beers taste they have the pumpkin pie spice to it, but there's a heavy amount of pumpkin pie flavoring to it. And I know this really doesn't have a lot of that. No, it's just the spice. It's the clove. It's the cinnamon. Which it's is okay. Nutmeg. You know, it's, it's not that not bad. Passive. No, it I, adds. It doesn't overpower. I'm not tasting right. anything pumpkin about <clears> it because I've seen that there's two ways of doing the pumpkin beers every October. I always end up buying a couple. There's the ones that do the pumpkin pie flavored beer, mm -hmm. and there's the ones that just use the pumpkin mash in there. Yep. And there's a definite difference oh, yeah. in it. Yeah. And this doesn't seem to use any pumpkin almost. Well, no, I, I think it does. And let me explain it. It probably is in there. But. Where it is, let me tell you why. <laughs> I think where you get it is in the pumpkin mash because they're just taking pumpkin, grinding it up and using that as their base to draw the sugar, mm. okay? That's what using it to ferment this with the yeast. I think they're using that because when you pumpkin itself, it's a very mild, delicate flavor. It really is. I mean, it's a very delicate flavor, like a good mango would be. We were talking about mango earlier. It's, I would say, a very refined, more refined and, and delicate than butternut squash. Acorn squash, even squashes, it's, it's <clears throat> in the same family, I understand that, but more delicate. That's where this comes in. I think this is a very well-made beer, actually. It is. It's good. Um, a lot of the ones that use the pumpkin mash, I don't end up liking it because it has a lot of heavy squashy flavor to it. Mm -hmm. And the ones that over pumpkin pie spice it, mm -hmm. it just tastes like you're drinking pumpkin pie. Which I love. I, pumpkin, I pie. love it. pumpkin pie is my favorite pie. With Cool Whip. Cool. Whip. You can use whipped cream too, but Cool Whip has a personal thing. Yeah. 
I wouldn't put cool up on this. No. no. But I mean, seriously, what I had heard initially, this is going back probably 15 years, that the pilgrims made beer out of pumpkins because pumpkins were so prevalent. It was like, why would you want to use pumpkin? This makes sense. Yeah. Because it's like it's not tasting like a pumpkin flavored beer. Definitely. You got that going on for it, plus you got the packaging with uh, Saranac going on. You got this yeah. fun it's jug. Jack -lantern. You got the jack o' lantern on it. And like I said, my son saw it and he's almost four and he immediately <coughs> wanted me to buy it. The daddy drinks. So it has, a, it has a kid appeal, so we're appealing to children. Children. Yeah. That's, I mean, you know what? They're marketing to children. <laughs> but also the adults that see, oh my goodness, it's the pumpkin and it's carved as a jack o' lantern. You know what I saw? Halloween I day. saw the neon green stickers at three dollars I'll, I'll try that you know I wanna, uh, just something to add to your previous statement about the delicate flavoring <clears throat> I've had really really well-made pumpkin soups that are very very subtle yeah pumpkin that's flavor. kind of exactly what I was thinking and that, that I, that's the I, that's the type of flavor I'm getting out of this it's like this, a really subtle pumpkin this soup. is good and this is a strong way to start out the month of October because I don't know if this is gonna get beat that's really yummy Big Daddy, what are you giving it? Oh man, it's hard. Uh, because it's a specific flavored, not when you say flavor, it is a specific type of beer. It, you know what, don't compare it to anything else. I'm not comparing Because it to this beer. is just our month long October it is special. October, <laughs> I'm talking in terms of the fact that it's a pumpkin beer. It's not a traditionally made beer. It is, but it's not barley, hops, whatever, water. I would give this a seven and a half. Uh, I'm right in the same ballpark. I was gonna say eight and a half. I, I think this is really well made. I like it a lot. Um, the flavor doesn't overpower, and I a lot of times when I have flavored beers, the flavor just overpowers the beer and it completely destroys what you're looking for, um, like some of the cherry wheat ones and things like that. Um, Sam Adams cherry wheat. That's awesome. I didn't say anything. I know. I saw. I saw you start to yeah. burn. But uh, he's right. <laughs> um, so it doesn't overpower. It adds to the beer rather than bombard it with pumpkin, yep. which I really dig. So eight and a half. Eight and a half. <laughs> um, I'm gonna. That's the only problem with having the, the first one of the season. You gotta. You gotta just give. You gotta go give, ahead. and you gotta. But I don't want to give too high because there might be a better one that we've got coming up for the season. You know what though? But we're judging this on its yeah, own merit. I'm. I'm gonna come in at a. a, a a seven. Mm. A seven. I'm gonna stick it a seven. He's torn. He doesn't know. I, it, you know, because I don't know what else the other ones are gonna taste like. Also, I just want to add. Uh, I need to say the word pumpkin one more time because I think in this review we've word, used the word pumpkin about 137 times. It's like syrup. It is it's syrupy. It's syrupy. It's an inside joke. You'd never get it. Pumpkin. So <laughs> it's what rednecks do. Their holidays. <laughs> But you were at a, you gave this seven and a half, seven and a half, yep. eight, eight and, and a half. half, and a seven. Yeah. So next week, we're going to have another pumpkin flavored beer. We're going to see how that one rates against this. Make sure, uh, you know, let us know what you think of these pumpkin beers down in the comments below. Give us your take on them. What one's your favorite one? Whether it's Shipyard, Blue Point, any of the other guys. And uh, like, subscribe. Share it with all your friends and loved ones and family and all that fun stuff. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram is all below. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. And we'll see you next week with some more pumpkin ale. Cheers. Oh, ah, that was for you. That's all you get. <laughs>
I should bring that home from Megan. <laughs> yeah, I'll try this. Love you. It's delicious. Hey, Barb, why are you talking? <laughs> 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 